Good evening, Julio Cesar. Good evening, teacher. Okay, in five minutes we are going to get started, okay? Thank you for joining early. Hello. I told you that we are going to get started in five minutes, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Carlos Ernesto, welcome. In one minute, we are going to get started, okay? Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Remember, we say good evening. Sorry. Farewell, okay? Good evening when you arrive to a place or okay. you join to a meeting. Mm -hmm. And good night is only to say goodbye. Okay. okay? As a farewell. It is exactly the okay. time. Okay, so Julio Cesar, welcome back again. Marvin, now you are able to be here. Okay, that's good because yesterday you couldn't make it, correct? 
Okay, so Teacher. yes. What the different uh, when you say ne neglected uh, versus sloppy? Neglected, sloppy. It's sloppy, I'm going to see. It's sloppy, can I read? It's sloppy, can I read? With double O, maybe? Como... With double O? Des, des, descuidada, S L O D P Y. Uh huh. Sloopy. Sloopy. Uh huh. Person. Y el otro es de 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 glad de como de negligencia o algo así. No, neglected is when you say something. Yeah. Uh huh. Neglected when you uh, say no to something. Cuando algo es rechazado, ¿ya? Yeah? Neglected. Uh -huh. Uh, when you don't accept something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other one is uh, versus careless. Sloppy. careless. Mm -hmm. But you don't care because it is it is not that you don't care, but it is that you don't pay attention to something. Mm -hmm. You are not concerned about it. Es como okay. que usted um, no se focaliza en algo, ¿sí? Ya. Yeah? Mm, es sloppy. Sloppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's loopy. Ah. Slappy. It's slappy. It's slappy because it is like lot? I'm checking with uh with uh, one with one uh oh so it's a slap. Slap. And the other one neglected. Okay. You won't be uh -huh, uh, neglected. Neglected is like a denied. Un rechazo. Sí? Uh -huh, okay. Neglected. Oh, no es, neg no es negligencia, no, ¿verdad? No, in that case, no. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok, neglected. Ok, okay thank you. Uh, so, uh, one of your partners I, are, are uh, saying that they have problems with the connectivity because it is raining. Yeah. Ok. Yes. So uh, it is, they are having heavy rain and I have heard that in some places in the evening, they, they were having also heavy rain in other places of our country, okay? So here we go. Let's get the started class. Good evening, uh, Elizabeth Johanna, Miguel Angel, Catherine Beatriz, Hazel Berenice, Wilbur Francisco, and also Carlos and Mervyn. You are really welcome, and we are going to get started, okay? As every single day class, I'm going to present my PPT to you, okay? And here we go. Okay, what's going on over here? It moved. Yeah, I wonder why it moved. <laughs> That's bit. Basic model two is teacher. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It no, is it... one. Uh, it is three. Yes, and it, I wonder three. why. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. it's three. But I wonder why it has moved. It, it is different today. I wonder why. Let's see. Okay, here. Uh huh. But now it is okay. But in here, now it okay. Probably it wanted to get the attention, the slide, yeah? We are in basic module three, okay? Uh, today is March 15th, 2023, that's okay, yes. yes? Okay, so I wonder why this moved here. Okay. And here we move to the agenda. For today, remember today is our video conference number six. Greetings as every day is the first activity. We are going to have a feedback on uh, what we did in the previous week. And the objectives, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives. The pre-task is to talk about socializing events like seminars. Preparation task is to use the vocabulary to describe company's expertise. The task is working at pages 19 and 20, but here we have the students will present self-generated content. So you are going to be producing the language today. 
And here we have the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective. So class, one volunteer to help me reading. Who is going to help me today reading? Me teacher. Okay, please begin. Okay, uh, objectives, the specific objectives to exchange vocabulary, vocabulary about the company's expertise industrial classification and where it operates. Class objectives. Students will be able to use industrial vocabulary to talk about their company's expertise, industrial classification and where it operates. Okay, so today we're going to begin a new unit. And the objective, as your classmate said, is that you exchange vocabulary about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates, the place where it operates. And with this regard, the class objective from the specific objective. So all of you as students will be able to use what is stated in the specific objective, industry vocabulary, in order to talk about your company's expertise, but also industrial classifications and where it operates. So again, class, here we have about homeworks and evaluation, okay? I expect that by now you are over with section number one, unit number one, all of you. Because in the evening when I checked, there were two or three who were still pending with some activities, okay? I need you to finish. It is mandatory. It is an obligation to finish with the activities. And I need another volunteer class to help me reading the requirements. One volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Please. Requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Thank you so much. So remember, camera on. Active participation, and we turn off the microphone when somebody else is speaking, okay, in order to avoid any interruption. And here we have <coughs> attendance is expected 100%, and you need to complete the 120 minutes class, okay, in order to have your effective attendance. Because if you leave the class before, then some minutes are going to be diminished from your attendance. Si se retiran antes de la hora que cerramos la clase, entonces um, la plataforma le descuenta esos minutos. Okay? It is not me, it is not the administration, but it is Zoom. Okay? And here the attendance as every day is taken twice at about 8.20 and at about 9.40. So remember that it is going to be valid. We're going to validate your uh, attendance when you say presente or here I am, present or here. And the one-on-one -on -one session is also available at the end of the class for one of you to stay with me, okay? And permissions mm -mm. to skip classes are not allowed. I'm not, I don't have the authorization to give you any permission neither the administration. As I told you, if you have any special situation, you need to talk to the administration. So they take notes and you also let me know, okay? But neither them nor I have the authorization to give you permission to skip, to be absent in classes. And here again in Zoom, we have the button, silence, mute, the microphone, Cameras on, as it is shown in this picture, in this illustration. The two chats are available via WhatsApp and Zoom. The breakout rooms are available also. And in the breakout rooms, we have the ask for help button, okay? And 
we always ask for respect above all. And let's see. Okay, Mateo says that he is in his way home. Okay. So sometimes I have to be checking both things because the two chats are available. And here we have, we are over okay, this week, but now it is March 15. It is not February, it is uh, awesome. April. I don't know what happened here. Okay, so class, today we are going to get started and on the 21st of March, we are going to be finishing this section number two. If you can, it is advisable for you to continue working ahead, okay, in the platform. Let's see, Miss Evelyn Yamilet, welcome. Freddy Celiceo, Thanks. welcome. Miss Maria Isabel, good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good okay, evening. Rudy, <laughs> welcome. Virginia, welcome. And Julio Cesar, all of you are really welcome. Class, we are going to get started with the feedback. Okay, so we, uh, Wilbur, hello, welcome. Listen, I need you to uh, look for your manual, okay? Page, page 18. We are going to start with that feedback in order to recall what we have been practicing in unit one. So this is page 18. Exercise number two, because if you remember, we finished with this activity and we did something else yesterday. But here at page 18, we have a feedback on infinitives. We have one, two, three, four, five sentences. But there are four mistakes related to infinitives, okay? So you are going to identify where the mistake is. When you identify the mistake, you write the sentence in the correct way. Let's see if number one is correct or incorrect. Let's do it together as an example. The company's mission is to distribute in top quality office supplies. Is it okay? Is it good? Is it right or is it wrong? Is wrong. Okay. It is, is wrong. wrong. Okay. So tell me what uh, should be the correct. Uh -huh. So we say the, reason, the company could be in the base for the company's mission is to is to distribute it. Distribute. Distribute. Top. So. So quality office supplies, yes? Okay, very well. So this is the correct sentence. And you identified that the mistake was here in the use of the ING, yes or no? Okay. Yes. Okay, great. So you have to analyze two, three, four, and five. You identify the mistake, and when you identify if there is a mistake in the sentence, you rewrite the sentence in the correct order, okay? And later, we go over exercise number three. This is the ING forms after prepositions. You have here, class, use the words in the box to write sentences about your responsibilities at work, okay? For example, Let's see. Let's imagine that okay, we are going to use in charge of. This is just an example. In my case, probably I will say, I, uh, uy, I am in charge of teaching classes. Yes, this is one sentence. But that is, in my case, of, in charge of is the expression. Teaching classes. Why teaching? Because of is a preposition. If you notice all of these phrases end in a preposition. Be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible for, be accountable for, okay? 
So here you are going to write one sentence using one of these, okay? Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Five sentences describing your responsibilities at work, okay? Is okay. it okay? Okay. Okay. The you. page is 18, yeah? And now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Is that okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. here we go. Everybody participating actively because this is the, the feedback for unit number one. Later, we're going to get started with unit number two, okay? Here we go, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Join your groups, please. Go to your groups. Joanna, I need you to go to your group, group number two, Joanna, and also Marvin, go to your groups. Remember that if you don't join the groups, you uh, don't get that attendance, the minutes of attendance, okay? Bye. Hola, Hello, teacher. Hello, here you are with Marvin, Wilbur, and Virginia, okay? Virginia. Virginia. And Elizabeth Johanna probably will join later on, okay? Let's begin. First of all, remember at page 18, identifying the mistakes in the sentences, okay? And correcting them. In, in the five sentences, in the five sentences. Okay, you have to- only, only only for mistakes. Only for mistakes. In other words, it tells you that there is one that is correct. One sense, okay, it's okay. Yeah, it is supposed according to the instruction because correct for mistakes related to infinitives. But you need to identify the ones that are wrong cor and correct them. The same as we did in number one. So you need to look for three more, I think, because we already have one. Yes? Oh, so, okay, only three, three more. Three more, I think, yeah? But you analyze sentence by sentence. And later you write here about your activities at work using the infinitive, but with ing. Why? Because all the phrases end in preposition. And remember, after a preposition, the verb must be in ing. Okay. Excuse me. It is. It is. It is the the infinitive. The ing. The infinitive. The infinitive ing forms after preposition. This is the structure. The prepositions is are. Uh, of two, uh, two, four, and four. Yes, yeah, similar to what uh, we did yesterday. Do you remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I wrote an example. In my case, my obligations, I am in charge of teaching classes. Teaching classes. I am okay. committed to prepare my, my classes. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, teacher, uh, teacher, uh, only, only with B. Better be. Yeah, because here you have be in charge of, be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible to, 
be accountable for, yeah? All the expressions begin with be. That's why I you am, say, you I am. Are. No, because no, it, is about, it is about your responsibilities. Ah, okay. okay? Only, only I am. Yes, because okay. if, if I am in the group, I say, I am mm -hmm. in charge of teaching classes. I am okay. committed to prepare my classes. Okay, I am please. dedicated to be on time from the beginning till the end in my class. Yes, because it is about me, my responsibilities at work. So, Wilber, you write about your responsibilities. Virginia writes about her responsibilities. And Marvin writes about his responsibilities, okay? Five for, each, five for each one. Yes, because your responsibilities are different, different. from the other. Yes, that's it. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, great. So, okay. Johanna is trying to join right now. Okay, see you. Hello, class. Everything okay? No. Catherine? Hello, teacher. You are alone. Tengo problemas de conexión. Me sacó y volví a entrar, no sé. Okay, so listen, I'm going to send you to another group because there are only two people over here, yeah? So I'm going to send you the invitation, Catherine. Go to group number two, okay? Because here there are only two students. Predis, are you available? Predi. I'm going to move you to another group, Freddy. Okay, but, but I, I'm going to send you another invitation so you join to another group as a listener, okay? Because otherwise you're going to be alone. Here we go. Go to group, uh, go to group number three. And Rudy. Goes to group number two. Mm -hmm. I am in charge of, of uh, checking in my case. Okay, checking, checking. Así es, ¿verdad? Checking stuff. No lleva C. Creo que lleva C. Ah, Checking. Sí, sí, tiene razón. Sí. Check. Checking. Ah, ahora sí. Correcto. Así, ¿verdad? Ok. Es correcto. Y, y el otro. Mm, vamos eh, a ver. Se me ocurre. Sí, me he hecho un que he de responsabilidad. Igual. El, el. Ah, vaya. Ok. What are you, Master Men? Estaba, ella estaba como reunida en el trabajo o comprometida. No, reunida, no pero es... acuérdese que acá, community este stands caso, for. Utilizando ING. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I am committed to. Ah, uh -huh. ah okay. Uh -huh. Ah, ¿qué es ING? ¿Así? No, 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 no. You have to write. Whose sentences are this one? ¿De quién son estas oraciones que está escribiendo? Tienen que ser nuestras. Sí, de cada quien. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, en primera persona. Ok, ok, uh -huh. ok. Así okay. entonces. I am... I am committed to, committed to. Mm -hmm. 
committing. I am committing to. No committing, no, 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 no committing no. to, no, I am committed to. The same as it is. The phrase is the same. ED with ED ah. or ING, committed to. Ah. ED, okay. eliminate the I. Uh -huh. Committed to. Now the, the action, the action, the action. Yes, estoy comprometido con. Uh -huh, I am committed to. Uh -huh. I am committing to, for example. I... To probably, uh, I don't know the kind of uh, the kind of activities that you perform at, at work. Probably to continuing. Así, no, o más relacionado al trabajo. It, it must be about your job. Son las actividades ah. que usted hace en el trabajo, sus obligaciones. Ah, ok. Yo le he puesto teaching the process, processes. Ajá. Yo tengo que enseñar procesos. Ya, o, en ajá. Or training. To training the staff, yes. Ok. To training the new employees, maybe. To training. To revise. Si es algo que tengo que hacer. Uh -huh, because it, they have to be real sentences. Okay. In mi caso, si la voy a dejar, I'm committed to training the staff. Porque en mi caso, si la capacitación es súper uh -huh. para ellos. Yes, that's it. Uh -huh. It is the reason of your job, yes? Exactly. It is your core activity. Yes. Okay. See you. Thanks. Number three. Mm -hmm. de tele, del sector de telecomunicaciones sí. es convertirnos, no es convertirse. Uh -huh. ¿no? Entonces sería is to become. Ese sería el sí, error de ella. Ajá, uh -huh. esa es la que, la que yo estaba pensando que estaba mal. Ok. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? ¿Qué decís vos, Miguel, también? Al final, eh, creo que es, para mí está bien escrito, el hecho de con. Al final siempre es convertirnos porque está hablando de, de en teoría de la compañía, porque no está hablando eh, directamente de, de nosotros, creo yo. Habla okay. de la... Será la número la number of two, ¿verdad? Ahí están sí. hablando. Pero es que sí, eh, no sé si es de agregárselo, pero al final creo que el it va como... Se sobreentiende que, que es convertirnos, pero no sé. No, como ¿Sí? dice... Eh, es our vision is to become o our vision is to become porque eso es lo que cambia no, pero yo creería que... I don't know. remember see... class may I interrupt you remember that you in this case in exercise number two you have five sentences yes only four are incorrect there is one sentence that is correct It, because only four are incorrect and we did together number one. So you need to find only three sentences that are incorrect. In this case, our vision is. Is. Yeah. Is yeah, because become. the mistake is here. It's. This is the mistake. Our vision is. No. Our vision is. Is. To become okay. the, yeah, that's the only word that you need to change, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and the number three, uh, we exist for is to provide. No. No, for to provide, only, only that. You, okay, you have, the mistake is that here you are using to preposition. Four or two, what are you going to use? Four or two? Four sería. Four sería. Four. Listen, if four you four use, three. if you use four, then you say that the mistake is two, but the verb here should be in ing. Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so the verb is not in ing. So the mistake is for, and you it's say, for, we exist to provide integrated logistics services. Yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, in the number four. Is two. Is, uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the number four is correct. Our goal is be reconciled. No, it is, in, it is incorrect. It's two. It's yeah, two. because it's... you have to write the word to over here. Uh -huh. Is to be. Okay. So you have to write over here is to. Is to. To be recognized as the number one diary producer. Dairy producer, okay? Our goal is to be recognized as the number one dairy producer. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the number five, <laughs> the mistake is becoming. Uh-huh. Rex and visions becoming. Change to, to become. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go so here, we say. Yes, it is supposed. And then here, uh, we identify that it is like this because we have two. If we use becoming, then we eliminate two and we write for becoming. Rex ambitions for becoming it is not appropriate. So we say ambitions to become the number one manufacturer of clothes for kids. And actually okay. we find we found four mistakes. Oh, let's see one. Five mistakes. Okay. All of them Five were incorrect. Mistakes. All of them were incorrect. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Everything yeah. sentences is incorrect. Every sentence is incorrect. That is why we have to analyze. Now go over the third part, okay? Exercise number three. Okay. Remember that it is about yourself. Cada quien tiene que escribir acá sus responsabilidades, ¿verdad? Esto es personal. And you say, uh, all of them have be in charge of, be committed to, be dedicated to, be responsible for, or be accountable for. In my case, I said, I am in charge of teaching classes. Remember that after this phrase, you have to use the verb in ing, okay? Because okay. the phrase ends in a preposition. Porque la frase termina en una preposición, ya? Y como es personal, todas comienzan con I am. I am. Okay. Um, for example, teacher, I am in chair of sending email every day. That's Can correct. Say, That's okay. correct. Excellent. Very well. That's correct. Okay, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. Continue working. Estar comprometido, algo así creo que. Ajá. 
esas dos últimas es casi lo mismo, ser el responsable. Las dos últimas, ahí, ahí lo tenemos que ver de acuerdo a las actividades que realizamos o en, cada, en nuestra empresa, cada uno de nosotros. That's correct, because they are personal. En primera persona, huh? I am. Yes, that's correct. Remember that those sentences are individual. Yeah? You write them individually. Okay, teacher. Okay. Y este ejemplo sería correcto. I am being changer of the sub the parent partner. Eh, Puedes escribirlo en el chat. Ah, bueno, ahí está la ficha. ficha. Ok, say it again, Marvin. Sí, I am being be in the changer, estar a cargo de, de guardar patrones. No, listen. In charge of. Sure. Oh, uh -huh. Ajá, esta es la frase en infinitiva, pero usted la tiene que conjugar y va a decir, I am in charge of, no va a decir, I am being charge okay. of, no. You say, I am in charge of uh, here. Eh, well, I uh, am in charge of saving, saving, saving. or keeping, saving what? Saving, saving. Ajá, yes. Saving de. Sería como también. The parents. I am in charge of. The parents. Or milk match. Yes. Machine. Okay, I am in charge of saving the parents. Yes, miss. Tell me yours. I am in charge. Hello, Virginia. Your sentence? I am in charge of saving the pattern. The pattern. This... The pattern. Y el ejemplo so... de la primera, este, yo hice una. I am an in charge of for milk machines. Ah, I am in charge of. For Melco Machines. Es el, el, el nombre de la máquina, es Melco. Pues sí, usted, usted está a cargo de qué? De estar pendiente de las cuatro máquinas. Sí. I am in el, charge super, of, supervising. of supervising or checking the... Or checking. Eh, checking. The... And you mentioned machine. Yes, you say the name of the machine, and that's it. Okay, hold it because one of your partners is asking for Rudy wants to, and he's going to be in your group, okay, Rudy, because he has been in troubles with the connectivity. Listen, my point is this. Mi punto es este, que ustedes, ustedes tienen que... Um, Conjugar la frase, no tiene que escribirla, be dedicated to. You say, I am dedicated to saving the patterns. I am responsible for saving the patterns, for example, yeah? yeah. I am accountable for supervising the blah, blah machine, yes? I am committed to growing the business. That's okay, very well, that's it. Acá tienen que conjugar el verbo be, no van a decir be, I am be, ¿no? Okay. How do you see distribute, teacher? Distribute. distribute. Like this. Distributing, in this case. Distribute. Okay. But in this case, you have to say distributing. Distributing. Okay. Distributing. Distribute, the infinitive distributing with ing. 
the other infinity. Um, and work on work of the colleges. Distributing. I am, I am com a community. I am responsible of distributing work no. of the colleges. I am responsible for distributing. For, uh, for. for distributing. For distributing work a colleges, me, a mis compañeros. Distribuir trabajo a mis compañeros. Ah, distributing de es el trabajo sí. o las tareas que van a hacer. Eh, sería, digamos, bueno, yo lo que hago es uh, me dan liberaciones de trabajo. Yo las clasifico por la categoría y distribuyo unas partes parte iguales a mis compañeros. Pero son como asignaciones. Sí, las asignaciones de ah, lo que van a hacer. Ok. Distributing tasks. Distributing Task. the tasks to the... my co-workers. Co-workers. ¿Ya? My... Okay, thank you. Okay, over here. I am uh, each, uh, responsible for distributing the tasks to my co-workers, okay? Co-workers. Uh, co-workers, co compañeros de trabajo. Okay, thank you. Okay. I, so this I am, mm -hmm. yes? I am, I am dedicated to finding new clients. I am dedicated to finding new clients. Finding. Very well. Finding, finding. new clients. Excellent. Finding. I am in committees, committees, Teacher, responsible and accountable is the same. Yeah, they are, they are, kind, of, they are kind of synonyms. Sí, no, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. El committee sería el committee. Comi co no, I am committed to. Committed. Committed. Committed to. Uh -huh. And mm. after two, after two, the verb must be in ing. Teacher, en yes. la tres, donde dice be dedicated to, podría ser como... I am I... dedicated to the embroidery area. area no. Well. I am dedicated to... Uh, and what do you do in that area? En el área de bordados. Sí. Pero ¿qué es lo que hace ahí? Eh, operaria. Pero ¿qué hace? Oper, a, oper, a operar máquinas puedo poner. I am dedicated to the... Uh, Pero es que eh, operar máquinas no, 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 no se traduce así. Sería tu. A operar máquinas de que. Ya, yeah, I am eh, dedicated to working with uh, machines. Machines operator. No, I am, I am dedicated to working with uh, machines. Porque ella eh, se dedica a trabajar con máquinas. ¿Qué es o no, Miss? Teacher, and for example, and the, ah. and the number. Porque, re remember this, I'm going to say it in Spanish. Miren, ustedes 
uh, después de I am committed to y me ponen el, lo que la función, pero no tienen que usar un verbo en ING. For example, I am committed to working with machines in the embroidering area. Yes. I am committed to, y acá, después de esta frase, después de esta preposición, la acción o verbo tiene que ir en ING, así como lo tenemos en los ejemplos, ¿ok? O oh, también podría ser como uh, sacar producción de bordado. Ok, I am committed to... Producing embroidery. To producing embroidery, uh -huh. That okay. would be better. Mm -hmm. Y en mi teacher sería el trazo de diseño de patrones. I, I, I am, your phrase. Su, su frase, ¿cuál es la que va a utilizar? From this sería, one. Sería la de dedicated. I am dedicated to designing patterns. I am dedicated to designing patterns. Teacher, la estructura de aquí sería el sujeto uh -huh. más el... De phrasal verb. This phrasal verb. Esta frase verbal que está acá. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the más verb bueno. in ING. The verb in ING. Verbo en ING. Ajá, ok. And the sería complement. El For example. Mhm. This is a, we already studied this. Okay, I'm going to show you. Here, how to use ING form after preposition. We use a verb plus ING after prepositions like for or of in expressions as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, be committed to, be de de uh, dedicated to. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because we, do you remember that we practice with this? Yes. Responsible for supervisor, supervising, Super in charge of checking, check responsible for repairing, accountable repairing. for selling, checking. in charge of assisting, accountable for managing. So this is a feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> es un repaso de lo que ya vimos. Okay. okay, but now you are making it personal, yeah? Okay. okay. Any other doubt or question? No more question, teacher. Okay, continue. Okay. In three minutes, we get back. Okay, to the main session room okay. so we can compare the sentences. Let's work. Okay. Uh, here. A ver, Virgin. Finished. I okay. think, teacher. Really? Okay. Ah. Ah, Julio, le, Julio te falta, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, y sí. la última. La listen, que me listen, 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 listen. Sentence number number two, is it correct or incorrect? Correct. No. Está mala porque dice it to become, ya vi. Ya. Yeah. Ah. Ajá, is, esa es la que está mala, entonces. ¿Así? Yes. Uh -huh. Our view yes. is, 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 is to become. Mm. Is to become. Entonces el otro sí sería, which is... For to provide. Entonces está bueno el tercero, teacher. No, For to provide. No, ¿cómo van a ir dos preposiciones juntos? ¿Verdad que no? No, todas tienen error. Lo que no. tiene error es la instrucción, porque todas tienen error, todas las, las oraciones. Ah, de verdad. Ah, <risa> come on, teacher, come on. Is it true? Count the mistakes. Cuente cuántos errores hay. Sí, ya decíamos que ese porno iba. Cinco. Entonces este, Ajá, el segundo es, es, es is, dice. Así, is to become. Is to become. 
Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Es, no puede, es que no puede ir dos preposiciones. Lo mismo okay. que la otra, we exist to provide. That's correct. Because, listen, in number three, en la número tres, if you use four, the verb must be in ing. ¿Sí o no? Ah. Si utilizamos okay. for, el verbo por ley tendría que ir con ing. Entonces lo dejamos. We exist to provide, porque lleva, acá les ponen a que escojan cuál es la preposición correcta. For or to. Tiene que ser to. To. Ok. Y cada quien ya el, tiene sus oraciones. Yes. Ay, no. You made a mistake in number four class. Because our goal is to be recognized. You are missing uh -huh. one letter. Letter D. Recognized. Mm. No. Sí. Oh, that cannot sí. be acceptable. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. When I teach her with the letter, uh, blah, blah, blah. so I'm going to be like, letter D is missing in recognized. Como no entendí, me La perdí. letra D le hace como que se perdió. Mm -hmm. Es que solo es el to be el que se le va a. El to. <laughs> uh -huh. No, el that's to. okay, that's okay. Don't move, don't move. No lo mueva, no lo mueva, that's okay. Okay, the goal is to be recognized as the number one dairy pro producer. Uh -huh. to be That's okay. Okay, save yes. the changes. Okay. Sí, la... I came here on time. Yeah, exactly <laughs> at the correct moment. To be recognized, así es. Yeah, to be recognized. Pero ahí está en pasado, teacher. No, porque es adjetivo. Recognize. El verbo es be. Ah, okay. Ajá. Reconocido. Es mm. adjetivo. Ah, y este lo está utilizando como adjetivo. Ya, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Ajá, that's it. Now let's get back to mm. the main session room, ok? Thank you. Okay, okay. No thank you. Too. Ya no digamos en, no, en but chino. That, that is our problem because we didn't like uh, language, right? In class. No nos gustaba esa asignatura en español, yes or no. Then now we have problems in sí. English. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. get back. Bye. Bye. In 10 seconds, all the partners will be brought by the platform. Okay, listen class, I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance, okay? Because it took about 40 or five minutes to be in those activities, but no problem because you did a good feedback. Andrea Lisbeth? Andrea Lisbeth is absent. Present. Okay, here, thank you. Carlos Ernesto? Here. Here, teacher. Elizabeth Johanna? Elizabeth Johanna was here. 
Maybe she lost the connectivity. I don't know. Evelyn Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, you are here. Finally, great. Flor Morena. Uh, Freddy Eliseo. Freddy, where are you? Freddy. Again, very close to heaven, very close to Jesus Christ. Uh, is uh, Miguel. Yes. Freddy, where is Freddy? He lost the connectivity. Chat. Ah, no, yeah, he is a listener today. Excellent. Okay. And Hazel? Here. Okay, great. Julio Cesar? Present. Catherine Beatriz? Present. Maria Isabel? Present. Thank you. Maria Leticia? Present teacher. On time to Marvin. Present teacher. Okay, you're here. Mateo, he said that he was going to connect a little bit late. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay. In the clouds. Natalia. Natalia. Absent. Rafael. Present teacher. Okay, great. Rudy. Present Rudy. teacher. Thank you, Rudy. Virginia del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. And Johanna. Ah, okay, you are presenting problems. Okay, Elizabeth Johanna. But now you are back. Wendy is absent. And Wilbur? Present teacher. Okay, great class. Now let's see. Here we go. First things first. I know here. Okay, compare and tell me if I am right or if I am wrong with these sentences, okay? We have in number one, the company's mission is to distribute top quality of your supplies. Number two, our vision here, the mistake is because it should be is, correct? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. It changed for is. It should be I know. Over here, is, okay? So we say our vision is to become the leaders in the telecommunications sector. We exist, you have two prepositions. You can never have two prepositions in a sentence. So we say that the correct is to because the verb doesn't end in ing. If we have, we exist for providing, you eliminate two. But the verb doesn't have ing, so we eliminate four. And we say we exist to provide integrated logistic services. Number four, our goal is to be recognized as the number one dairy producer. Number five, Rex ambitions to become the number one manufacturer of gloves for kids. Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now we are open to listen to you, class. Some of you, not all of you, but at least two or three sharing his or her sentences, using the words in the box to write sentences about your responsibilities at work, okay? About your duties at work. Okay? What volunteer? Me, teacher. Um, okay, please. Oh, okay, go ahead, Rafael. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, we have Rafael and later Carlos. And uh, after Carlos, maybe Miguel or Wilbur, I don't know. Or one lady, okay, I don't know. Okay, begin, Rafael. Okay, I am in chair of sending email every day. 
I am in committed. Sending emails, yes? Emails, sending, emails. Sending emails. Sending okay, emails. Yeah, that's correct. Continue. Okay. I am in committed to reaching the monthly goal. I am dedicated to coaching to my sales teams. I am responsible to supervising to the residential sales for Claro El Salvador. I am in accountable to making the daily sales report. Okay, thank you so much. Very well done. And now the next participant. Okay. Uh, I am in charge of checking staff. I am uh, committed, committed to reviewing payroll. I am dedicated to doing all tasks. I am responsible to writing, writing the newsletter. I am accountable to keeping the key of say deposit. Very, very well done. Okay, Wilber Francisco, your turn. Okay, teacher. I am chair of or, or dieting inventory. I am committed to growing the business. I am dedicated to finding new clients. I am responsible for paying the bills. And I am accountable for receiving work call. For receiving <laughs> work make, calls. Okay. The microphone is calls. Calls, excellent. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Michael. Okay, uh, I am in charge of supervising the results. I am committed to finish the task. I am committed <clears throat> to finishing. Okay, finishing the task. The yes, task. finishing. Okay. I am dedicated to providing my life. I am responsible for to going at my job. I am responsible, and... no, stop it. I am responsible for going, not for to going, for going to my job, okay? Okay, I am responsible for going at my job. Okay. I am accountable for my work group. <clears throat> okay, I am accountable for a my what do you work. Do? Yeah, Road. but what do you do with your uh, with your group? Yes. Uh, Tell me one verb, one action. Um, sales, selling, or vender. Vender el grupo. La acción que hace el grupo o cómo. No, because you say, I am accountable for? My work group. Yes, but you are not telling me what you do with them. Pero no me dice qué es lo que hace con ellos. Accountable is responsable, ¿no? Sí, pero ¿de qué? ¿Cuál es la acción que es su responsabilidad con ese grupo? I am accountable for my work group. El, el verbo, el verbo te está group. haciendo falta. Ajá. Es checking or supervising el, el, o... Ajá. El verbo falta, Miguel. Or sí, coordinating. Falta el verbo, uh -huh. Ajá. Supervisar, chequear. Coordinar. Coordinar. <coughs> ok. Usted es responsable de su grupo, pero ¿qué es lo que hace con ese grupo? Sería, I am accountable for my group, uh, work group uh, supervising or to supervising for my work group. I am accountable for supervising my group. Okay. I am accountable for supervising my group. Okay. My work group. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
my course. work group. Yeah, because right. it is at work. Yeah. Ahí no sería because, tú, because, teacher. Because, no, because no es tu, tu accountable. No, because the phrase is accountable for. And we ah. are using the phrases. Yes. Ah, okay. 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 Good. Uh -huh. And when he says, I am accountable for my group, he is transferring exactly from Spanish to English. But the structure in English is not that one because the structure is this. Look at this. Accountable <laughs> for. So I am accountable for supervising my uh, work group. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, thank you. And let's see, do we have a lady, a girl, who would like Me to teacher. share? Okay, Evelyn, please. Toda, ¿verdad? Yes. Porque solo, solo cuatro hice porque la última no supe qué ponerle, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay, number one, I am in charge of manufacturing the sales samples for customers. Two, I am committed, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Committed. Committed to. Committed to. Okay. I am committed to for the quality of the clothes that manufacture. Three, I am Dedicate, así, dedicated, dedicated to, I am dedicated to making sample garments for our customers. Excellent. Uh, for, I am responsible for apply, applying the change that the client so Suggest, como suggest, suggest, suggest for the new garment. Excellent, Miss. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Thank very you. well. Thank you so much. Do we have another volunteer? No more volunteers. I am. Okay, <laughs> Julio. Okay, uh, number one, I am in charge of um, the supervising the store. I Number am in charge two. of supervising the store. Supervising is the store. Thank okay. you. I am com committed com to meeting the goal. Three, I am dedicated to selling household items. Number four, I am responsible for supervising the credit process and number five i am accountable for checking my emails excellent very Thank well you. okay no more participants sharing no more okay okay miss okay i am charging of the savings spending informative email to co-workers. I am committed, committed to the company to complete. complete no, 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 no. No, I am committed to. Committed to the company. No. To complete. No. No, I am committed to completing. I am completing com with work standards my work. Quiere decir de cumplir los, los requerimientos de estándar. Ajá. Uh -huh. So I am committing to. Committing to. Meeting. Meeting. Ah, meeting. Así se dice. Meeting. Okay. De. Eh, de estándares. Ok. Estándares. Standard work. The work. standards, the, uh -huh, the standards at okay. work. Okay, at continue. Work. Okay. Uh -huh, at work. Okay. Next one. Uh, I am, is responsible for 
pay, pay, claim the salary. I am accountable for organizing meetings with vendors. Very well. Okay, great. Now, no, mo no more. Let's continue because we're going to go over this activity okay, as a class. Okay, yeah, here we go. Minutes. Okay, class, here, personal versus personal. We're going to work together. So microphones off, everyone. And here we go. Notice that the spelling is similar, but not the same. And also the pronunciation, personal, 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 versus personal versus personal. Now, here we go. Hmm, let's see, class, which word means belonging to a particular person and which word means people who work for a company? Personal, is it a word that means people who work for a company or it is uh, belonging to a particular person? Personal, this one. Which one is it? Sentence said below, teacher. Pers personal, personal. Okay, so you say personal? No, the other one. He's a personnel. Personnel. Okay, you say personnel belongs to which people the who sentence. work for a company or belonging to a particular person. We are over here, okay, in this envelope. Acá estamos tratando de identificar la función, el significado de cada una de estas palabras. Personnel. Ajá. Uh -huh. The meaning is belonging to a particular person or who work for a company, people who work for a company, personnel. This people one. who work for a company. People okay. who work for a company. People who work for a company. Okay, great. Excellent. Now we have the other one, correct? We have personal, obviously. This word means belonging to a particular person. Yeah, personal, personal. Now let's complete the statements with the appropriate word, personal or personal. And Teacher. you tell me, okay, in number one. Teacher. Yes. Personal is equal to staff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Staff or crew, okay. Who is responsible okay. for the? Personal, personal. Okay. Is that okay? Who is yes. responsible for the personnel at the plant? Very well. What about number two? Does the marketing manager have a assistant? Personal. Per okay. Personal. Personal assistant. Number three, it's necessary to train more blah, blah, for the high season, it's necessary to train more personal or personnel for the high personnel. season. Personnel. Personnel. Okay. Personnel. Please do not bring your blah blah problems to the office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, personnel. 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 And then they ask you. Everything okay at home? Yes, at home, yes, but not in the past. Okay. <laughs> they tell you, please do not bring your personal problems to the office. Now the last one, the blah, blah, of the workshop need new uniforms. Personal. 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 Okay, excellent. That's it. Very well. So now we understand the difference in meaning of personal and personal. Yeah. Okay. So people, welcome to the next unit. We are going to start working uh, unit number two with a discussion in groups. May I go over the next slide? Yes. Puedo continuar yes. con la próxima slide? Okay. Here we go. Yes. yes. 
listen class, you are going to discuss the following in the breakout rooms. These questions, do you often attend seminars? Is it easy or is it difficult if you attend seminars? For you to socialize at those events, okay, here, mm, here, let's see. Is it, it moved, I don't know what happened here. Is it easy for you to socialize, okay, at those events? And then how do you, how do you usually break the ice? Make people feel more comfortable, okay? How do you do this? Do you often attend seminars? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events when you go to a seminar and you are the only one representing your company or your department? Is it easy for you to socialize in those events or do you feel shy or is it difficult to get in touch with others? And number three, how do you usually break the ice or make people feel more friendly to talk to each other? Okay, so you are going to ask and answer these questions in the breakout room. Are we clear? Estamos claro con lo que vamos a hacer. Hello. Yeah. I think, I think. This is... I think yeah. so. Yeah. Van a discutir las tres so. preguntitas, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok. Regarding to your workplace, ¿ok? Seminars that your company sends you to. So I share the questions via WhatsApp. Now let's go to the groups and give your opinion. Here we go. Mm. What did you say? Remember that everything is recorded in here, yeah? Everything is recorded. Okay, class, I need you to participate actively, okay? The invitation has been sent. Join your groups, please. Join your groups. Okay. <clears throat> Catherine, go to your group, please. Catherine, your group is waiting for you, group number four. Andrea Lisbeth, I need you to go to your group. Thank you. Elizabeth Johanna, join your group. And Andrea Lisbeth, go to your group, please. So you don't uh, miss the minutes. Good evening, eh? well, good night, ladies and gentlemen. Hola, teacher. <laughs> Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Yes, good uh, night, and I say good evening, good evening. You have to say good evening. Okay, <laughs> begin with the discussion of the questions, people. Okay. Okay, and you send in the, the question that or chat. Yes, I share. What's up? Yeah, I shared the picture of the questions, the image of the questions with you, okay? Via yeah, WhatsApp. And, and the first sentence is, uh, say, do you often attend seminars? Uh, dijo, uh, say a short answer. Uh, yes, I do, or no, I do. Ah, sí, sería cerrado. Sí. Yes, I do or no, I don't, because it is a yes, no or question. No, I, or no, I don't. Sí. <laughs> yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes. No. No lo hago. Uh -huh. But remember that that is personal, okay? 
depending on your case. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Yeah. The answer is the answer is different. No. Mm -hmm. Entonces, si es sí, sería yes, it is. Y si no, no. I no, don't. No, porque sería siempre sobre la base de la partícula it que estamos utilizando. No yes, it is. Yes, it is or no, yeah. it is. Ya, yeah. mm -hmm. correcto. No, it is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Y la no, tercera it, que sería, how do you say But break? listen, yes. it depends on you. Pero es personal porque para unas personas es fácil uh, romper el hielo o eh, platicar con otras personas, ¿verdad? Y para sí. otras es difícil. So it is in your case, personal. Mm -hmm. Correcto. Teacher, y en el caso que uno no tenga ese tipo de, ne, ningún tipo de seminario. And then you say, no, I don't. Mm. Y por consiguiente las otras preguntas Negative Negative answers Y la última ya no la contestaría Ajá uh -huh. Ya Never pues. Igual En donde yo trabajo Igual sería casi nunca Ajá, entonces, pero eh, mencionaba Rudy que lo pudiéramos hacer con una respuesta corta y cerrada, ¿verdad? No, I don't. Para sí, porque no como las de abajo podemos, las la de abajo sí son respuestas largas. Ajá, ya en la segunda es cuando asiste a esos lugares, si le es eh, fácil socializar en este tipo de eventos. Yes, those are information questions. And the first ones are yes, no question. Yes, no question. Yeah, only you that... have the possibility affirmative or negative. But in the others, it's information because you give an extended information uh, answer. Yeah. Okay. No, Sería no. De la, la, la dos, de la dos, de la dos para abajo. De la dos, la tres. De la number two. Uh -huh. We can say um, is easy socialize socialize in this in this event um, for you for you but for, I don't know the others because that is personal. Uh -huh. It has to deal with your personality if you are introverted or extroverted. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because to some people, it is very difficult to talk to, to new people. To, to new make people. new friends is difficult for some people, yeah? Okay. In the number three, um, is, is a form one, is, a, is, is how to, to break ice. Oh, what, what do you say in, in my case? for to ice break with the uh, new uh -huh. people. Ah, oh, it's very hot. You begin with questions like, it's very hot, yeah? Or it's okay. very late, they don't begin. Es bien tarde y no comienza, yes? Oh, yes, and I was here very early, and then you start the conversation, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, those are the ice breakers. Son los, las frases rompe hielo, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Okay. Then. <laughs> Entonces, yeah. ¿cómo sería la respuesta, Miguel? Yeah. Eh, la respuesta o de Ask for Large y, y como tú la dijiste, es que eh, yes, is easy for me to, for me to socialize uh, in this event. It's for me uh, easy uh, to socialize uh, in this event. Sí. And the number three. In, in this or in that? Or in this or in this? Well, in that area, in that event. In that area, or, eventos, or in this event, in those two events. In those events. Those events. Oh, okay. 
Vaya, si gusta Virginia, léanos la tres. Please read in the, the number. Three sentences. Como en la primera, o sea, do you often attend seminars? Yes, I do. Es respuesta corta. Yeah, because it is yes, no question. But the others are information questions. Okay. Uh -huh. In the others, you have to give the information. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Virginia? Um, Please read in. Miren, pero ahí creo que ahí son cuatro o tres. Es que yo creo que no es la misma imagen que compartió la ticha. Ticha, ahí nos estamos enredando. Ah, la, la tercera pregunta, la segunda pregunta, ¿hasta dónde termina? You have, do you often attend seminars? Okay, that is the first one. Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? Number two. Number three, how do you usually break the ice? ¿Cómo es que tú rompes el hielo? Or, between parentheses, you have, how do you make people feel more friendly to talk to each other? ¿Cómo es que hace que la gente se sienta más uh, <coughs> amigable para hablar con los demás? Um, ¿Qué haces? Eh, bueno, como le estaba comentando ahí al compañero, lo que hacemos es... Eh... Talking out the uh -huh. topic to be discussed. 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 Uh, yeah, or maybe to talk about common topics like the weather, yeah, about the traffic or about the time. People say sometimes it's very late and I was here on time and they don't start. Es bien tarde, yo vine a tiempo, vine temprano y todavía no comienza. Yes. Or oh, okay. hey, the traffic is crazy. Yeah, it's a chaos. It's very heavy in here. Or where do you live? And this and that. Those are icebreakers. Esas son frases para romper el hielo e iniciar una conversación. Ya. Yeah. Ok. <laughs> Okay, begin asking and answering or finished. Eh, mm -hmm. La última nos falta. Eh, ah, okay. How do you usually break the ice? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? Ajá, ¿cómo es que haces para romper el hielo? Para iniciar la conversación en otras palabras, okay? Correcto. To make people feel more friendly to talk to. Para que la gente se sienta más cómoda de hablar. ¿Qué estrategias usas? Okay, see you. Three minutes to answer the last question. Break the ice. Teacher. Uh -huh. Para mí es fácil romper the el hielo. The answer and the number. How do you usually break the ice more people feel? Uh -huh. the... What is the strategy that you use in order to break the ice? In order to make people feel more friendly to talk to. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo hacen ustedes para romper el hielo con gente que no conocen en esos eventos? Uh, I think that is uh, preguntándoles algo personal, uh, su nombre. To uh -huh. do us to, to uh, about the topic. In the, the... ¿En qué trabajo o en la empresa en la que trabajo? Uh, you ask uh, personal questions. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, what's your name? Mm -hmm. Or oh, about the event, the event too. About the event, yeah. Pues, or everyday topics like the weather, the traffic, yes. Or the news. Yes. 
or a special event that you saw. You know, in my way to this place, I saw a terrible accident. Yeah. Oh, really? What happened? And then you start and you have broken the ice. Y ya rompiste el hielo. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Continue um, giving your opinions. In two minutes, we get back. Okay. 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 Tal vez eso le faltó. No, pero, ajá, pero yo lo escribí así. Sí, dice que si eres puntual, demuestra, pues yo le puse puntual, ¿verdad? Entonces, ajá, pero siempre me la dio mala. Igual le puse responsable y todo, y siempre me la dio mala. Se las cambiaba y nada. Sí. Le voy a pasar un, eh, le voy a escribir la palabrita, pero para que vea si fue eso. Did you finish answering the three questions, class? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. Vea si lo... Teacher, Podría one question. Decir. Tell me. Um, when I say uh, for for icebreak, um, we, we are talking about the weather or... Uh, talking about the weather. Ah, uh, we talk about the weather. Mm -hmm. We talk about the weather. Hablamos we sobre talk... about the weather. Is uh, is correct? Say. Yeah, it is correct. We talk. That is the way it has to be. We talk about the weather. We talk about the weather. Okay. Yes. Okay. ¿En la tuya, Julio? ¿Cómo sería ahí en el caso? Para tú. Tell me. Ok. En mi caso, digamos, en la primera dice, do you often attend seminar? Do you respondo, I don't not. No, I don't. No, I don't, sorry. No, okay. I, no, I not. no I don't. No, I don't. Y la segunda sería, is, is if is for you to social, uh, socialize. Socialize. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. La otra dos son negativas porque usted no asiste a esos eventos. Ah, sí, y la respuesta sería I don't know socially because we don't no, seminars. No, 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 no. You have to say because the question is is it easy for you? You say no, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it no, isn't. It isn't. Uh, uh -huh. pues, re respuesta corta sin mucha explicación, Teche. Para él, porque como él no asiste a esos eventos, entonces ah, todo ah, es negativo. Con, con solo decir no, no. No irisent. Ajá, no, no, no es fácil. Ajá. Ajá. No, no irisent. Uh -huh. And the no last irisen. one, how do you usually break the ice? I don't break the ice because I, I don't attend those events porque no asisto a esos seminarios. No, I don't is, break no. the ice. I don't break the ice because I don't attend those events. Those events. Those events. Attend. No podría escribir en el chat. ¿Mm? Please. Podría escribirlo en el chat. La palabra attend. Acá está. Uh, how do you usually break the ice? Mm -hmm. I don't attend. Esta que está acá, attend. I don't attend ah, okay. seminars. I don't, I don't attend. attend seminars. I don't attend seminars. I don't Seminar. attend seminars. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Now it's time to get back, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go.
Let's wait for the other partners. In 22 seconds, everybody is going to be back. Okay, class, I need you to activate your cameras and give me a very happy smile. Activate the cameras and say hello. Say hoo hoo. And say whiskey. Waka. Mosca, mosca. Okay, your whiskey to the count of three. I don't know if, uh, okay, thank you, Catherine, your camera. Excellent. Uh, Miguel, your camera, Miguel, Miguel. Miguel Angel, we need your camera. I'm here, teacher. Okay, uh, Matthew. Okay, to the count of three class, here we go. Here we go. Okay, very handsome and beautiful, the girls smile. Yeah, like a top model, top model. -y. Okay, <laughs> and I know Carlos is combing his hair and he is wearing a cap. So, <laughs> alguien me explique, okay, <laughs> because he comes his hair, se peina, and then he wears the cap. Y luego pone la gorra. Okay, to the count of three. Hey, hey. okay, Mosca, one, two, three, Mosca. Mosca. Okay, let me, I'm going to share it right now via WhatsApp. Okay, here we go. Okay, class, there you are. And I'm going to call your names in order to take your second attendance before we go to the breakout rooms again, because today is very active. Andrea Lisbeth, Andrea? She's a listener today. Carlos okay. Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Yes, Andrea. Thank you. And Carlos, thank you. Elizabeth Johanna. Elizabeth Johanna is not here. Uh, Evelyn. Evelyn, yes. Present, teacher. Okay. Flor Morena is absent. Fredis. Also, Freddy. Okay. Via chat because he's a listener. Hazel, where are you, Hazel? Here. Always here, thank you. Julio Cesar? Present, yes. teacher. Hey, thank you. Catherine? Catherine, are you here? Okay. Maria Isabel? Present. Thank you. Maria Leticia? Present, teacher. Back just in time. Mervyn? Present. Thank you, Mervyn. Uh, Melchizedek Matthew. Mateo. Present. Thank you, Miguel Angel. Present, teacher. Always in heaven. Uh, Natalia. <laughs> Natalia, did you get connected? Not today. Oops. Uh, Rafael, always here. Present. Rudy, 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 always here Present. too. Present. Virginia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Mm, Wendy is absent. Anne Wilbur. Present teacher. Always here. Okay, class. Listen, you have been discussing about seminars and if it is easy for you to break the ice in those events. Sometimes the Seminars are only for the people of the same department or of the same branch. You know branch, sucursal, yes? But the, depending yes. on, on yes. the company, sometimes it is a general event, a big event, and you are with people from other branches. Imagine that you live in San Salvador and you work in San Salvador, but in that event, you are with people from La Unión, Sonsonate, San Miguel, Morazán, and you say, oh my God, and you work at the same department, 
but in different branches and you need to break the ice. So here, let's read this conversation. At page 19, everyone, please look for your manual. And here we go. Okay, these are the three questions that you were okay, discussing. The idea is that you exchange information about the company's expertise, industrial classification, and where it operates. <clears throat> Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Let's imagine that we are at a seminar. The conversation goes like this between Rick and Jack. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have any branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama, okay? Headquarters, the core offices, the central offices, that is the headquarters. Yeah, for example, Hetzel. Hetzel is the, the, yes. the main branch. Yeah, okay. Las oficinas okay. centrales, headquarters. Uh, I have a question for you, Ms. Hetzel. You yeah. work for a bank. You work for a bank. Yes. Tell yes. me where where are the headquarters of uh, for America? La Gran Vía. No, the headquarters in which country? Um, Salvador. No sé. Oh no. my God. Okay. No, no es El Salvador. Es eh, Nicaragua, si no me equivoco. Nicaragua. Promedio. No es salvadoreño. No, mm -hmm. yes, I know. That's why I'm asking you. Sí, yeah, because no you may say Gran Vía. No. They have, for example, for Banco Agricola, I think that now they have Colombia. In Colombia. In Colombia. In Colombia, yeah. Sí, ah, es Honduras. Es Honduras. Nicaragua or Honduras means everything is recorded. Okay. Oh, 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 my God. Honduras. <laughs> but the idea is that you have the <laughs> of the word headquarters, okay? So uh, okay. I, I asked uh, Hazel because of uh, the company, yeah? That it is not a national company, yeah? And they have branches maybe in Latin America, the same as many banks like uh, Da Vivienda or the other ones, the Agricola or... Bacredomatic. Oh, yeah. Okay. But America, tell me, America where, Central. Where, America Central, where are the headquarters of uh, America Central Bank? Do you know? Where are the headquarters? Colombia. Um, Colombia, Colombia. Or, or Costa Rica? Colombia. Colombia. America Central. Sí. Ajá. Desde que es este holding, es Colombia. Yes, but I am surprised that you know about the other banks and you don't know about them. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to, you want to. Tengo cinco meses de estar ahí, no me acuerdo. No, no, but eh, don't listen. Todo don't bien en casa. Don't ask her about the mission and the vision, okay, of the bank. But now we have clear what uh, headquarters means, right? Yes. La base central. So here we go. At a seminar, people... They in Panama. Imagine that we are in a, in a seminar with Hazel. And who, uh, where do you, uh, if I say, hi, my name is Hilma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm uh, uh, Hazel. Uh, I work for yeah, Inex. Yeah. And then I ask her, uh, you work for Promerica. Okay. Where, <laughs> and then where are the headquarters? And she says, mm, okay. So it is like that. Yeah. So here I need volunteers in order to practice this conversation, please, as a model. Two participants, two volunteers. Will read. One is, okay, you are going to be Rick, and I need Jack. Who's going to read Jack? Me, teacher. Okay, Rafael, let's begin. One, two, three. Okay, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard 
boxes for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does it have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay, excellent. Now here you have the definition of these words. Headquarters and I branch. A, headquarters is the place where a company or organization has its main offices. As you were saying, Banco Agricola has the headquarters or the main offices in Colombia. Branch. Okay a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area, okay? So, uh, yes, your question is, sorry. Carlos, did you have a question? Uh, uh, yes, uh, what does car cardboard mean? Mm, car 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 cardboard. Carton, cajas de carton. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, okay. Thank okay, you. class, now listen, I'm going to assign you the tasks in the breakout rooms, okay? You practice this conversation as it is, and you switch roles. <coughs> when you finish the practice, all the participants need to read the conversation. You are going to work in exercise number three. What two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Okay, and here you write, as a class, you are going to create two questions in order to continue with the conversation. For example, and where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Oh, really, in Panama City or in another place? No, in Panama City. Okay, and those are the questions. Panama City, another place, okay? And uh, do you work, do you work in... Uh, Okay, or what is your position, for example, yeah? Or what is your occupation? Acá van a escribir dos preguntas para continuar la conversación, okay? Is it clear? Okay, okay very well. And here you list three companies, the name of the three companies, the branches and the headquarters, the place where they have the headquarters. They can be your companies, okay? In the group, no problem. Acá el nombre de tres compañías, dónde tiene las, las sucursales y dónde están sus oficinas centrales. ¿Está ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Go to the breakout rooms and begin practicing. Speaking time. Let's, let's jump right okay, in. Yeah. Go to your groups. Uh, here. Okay, I sent you the invitation, Marvin. Uh, Matthew, you are in group number three. Mateo, go to group number three. Fredis, your group is number four. Rudy, Rudy, did you see the invitation, Rudy? Yes. Okay, go to your group and let's begin the practice. Elizabeth. Miguel Angel, go to your group. Rudy, go to your group. I sent you the invitations. Miguel Angel, go to group number two. Rudy, join your group, please. Miguel Angel, okay. Elizabeth Johanna, your group is number one. Manufacturing branches in the country. 
And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. Ahora al revés. Bien. Uh, tú? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What do is Inex Inc? Do Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for baking companies. Oh, I see those Inex have many branches. Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. La volvemos a repetir o buscamos eh, dos entro preguntas. Miguel, entro Miguel Ángel, Miguel Ángel is here. Miguel Ángel, are you available? Oh, no lo yes, había <laughs> Okay, someone practice with Miguel, please. <laughs> Dale, okay. Julio. I um, okay. I, my role is Jack. Jack. Yeah. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard box for packing companies. Oh, I see. Does Enix have many branch? Uh, yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And um, where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. 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 Ahora cambiamos, eh, Virginia. Yeah. Usted es Rick y yo soy Jack. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packing, packing companies. Oh, I see that. Inex have it, in have many, have many brain branch, branch. Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are in the headquarters? Headquarters. Creo que así se pronuncia correctamente. Um, they are in Panama. Ahora. Ya lo hice. La ya hicimos la, las rondas, las tres. Solo no sé, Mateo, cómo está, si de oyente o. Sí, Mateo no ha contestado. Uh -huh. Mateo, mm -hmm. he sí, is having que... problems with the connectivity. So go over and deal the questions, ¿ok? Go over okay. the other two activities. Continúen con las otras dos actividades. Because he's having problems with his internet. Okay. Entonces, vamos a crear dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Para continuar. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Entonces, aquí le puede responder Rick a Jack... Eh, I work in, okay, in, in the Coca-Cola company. Okay, I work in the Coca-Cola company. Uh -huh. And what do you do? I, I work. I, um, I am the supervisor of, of I am manufacturing. <coughs> oh, I am manager in the Coca-Cola company. I am, uh -huh. Okay. I am I, manager. I am, I am the sales manager. 
the sales manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the sales manager manager? Yes, sales manager. Sales manager. Okay. <laughs> because um, how uh, I don't know where do you, where where do you work, uh, Jack? Um, nosotros le preguntamos entonces dónde trabaja Rick eso no lo sabemos entonces por eso le preguntamos dónde trabajaba él ok excelente uh -huh. to continue okay. the conversation uh -huh. perfect perfect uh -huh. I work in the company Coca Cola no? I work in Coca Cola Inc Coca-Cola Inc. Yeah. Coca-Cola Inc. <coughs> and the number four. Um, we say that the companies. Um, yes. You write the name of three companies where they have the branches and the headquarters. Yeah, where they have the headquarters. Uh, teacher, when I say uh, the company is is every world or mm -hmm. every Latin America, uh, any I can company, say any company. No, 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 no. Eh, Juan, cuando quisiera decir en qué, cuáles son las sucursales, puedo decir Ajá. en toda Latinoamérica. ¿En Latinoamérica? En la, in Latinoamérica. Ajá, and the headquarters? Is, example, Spain. Ajá, tell me the name of the company. Um, Conecta. 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 Ok. My, my company. So, so you write Conecta. Uh, branches in Latin America, the headquarters, Spain. Yeah, that okay. is the order. Okay, that's it. Very well. Packaging. 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 Teacher is packaging, no pack, packing, brother. No we, we say packing. Mm -hmm. You have packing? It's packaging or something like no, that. Pack listen, you have pack packaging. 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 Ah, okay. Packaging. Okay, we have uh, packaging. Because you may say like this. Okay. What are you doing? Um I'm packing my uh, my clothes. My clothes. Okay. I'm packing my clothes. Packaging. And then packaging. you say from package, you have a noun, package. Paquete, si o no. I'm packaging. The merchandise. Ah, it's like a tiro. Mercadería. Estoy empaquetando la mercadería. Ya, yeah? uh, you know, it's okay. Ahora comprendo la diferencia. Como, como con el tiro, teacher, así como. Ya, yeah. no, that is wrapping. That is wrap, wrapping. Eso es envolver, ya. Yeah? But packaging is like a packet. Package. Es un paquete. El paquete. Pa uh -huh, but packing is empacar. Okay. Similar but different. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Y si para que la conversación siga, yo creo que podemos agregarle, tenemos que agregarle. Where is the main branch? Y ahí dijimos que lo vamos a colocar. It is, it is, in, is in Panama City. Uh -huh. Does Inex have exportation to the other countries? 
¿Y tiene o no tiene? <risa> A saber. <risa> Vamos a ver. Se le tenemos fue. que hacer el número cuatro, sí. Sí. Yes. The name Qué of three companies, three companies, the branches and the headquarters. Ok. Y si solo hay una sucursal. Then mm. you stay uh, where it is located. Menciona dónde está esa sucursal. Mm. And the headquarters. Ok. Right. Porque about to finish. Okay, listen. We're going to get back to the main session room because of the time. Okay, teacher. Okay, and we continue tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, Let's okay. get back. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get back. You didn't feel it. But okay, Julio Cesar. Hello, Julio Cesar. Hello, teacher. Are you okay with your audio? Yes. Okay, no problem with the connectivity. No, 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 no problem. Perfect. Excellent, because I'm going to ask you to stay with me uh, after class. Okay, today is your okay. day to the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. But the others are still working. They don't notice that. Okay, they have to return. In 20 seconds, the platform is going to bring them back. Okay, let's wait for the other partners. Class, congratulations on your performance today. Very well done. You worked very hard. The time flew. We didn't notice that it was time to say goodbye. And we are going to continue with a check-in exercise three and four tomorrow, okay? Because of the time, but you have been creating, you have been producing the language. Uh, I'm going to stay with Julio Cesar for the one-on-one -on -one session and for the rest of you. I am so glad that you were here. Thank you so much. I appreciate your attendance and your active participation. Remember, now you can start working in section two in the platform. If one of you is owing me the activities in section one, please finish the activities, okay? And have a good night and sleep well. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you tomorrow. Take care. Good, care. Good, care. Good, care. Good, care. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good Take night. care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Only Julio Cesar stays with the teacher. Bye bye. And where is Julio Cesar? A quién le toca hoy, teacher? A Julio Cesar, pero se fue. Okay. Good okay. night. Okay. Have a good night. Okay, I'm going to call him. Maybe he lost the connectivity. Hello, Rafael.
Rafael. Hello, Rafa. Rafael. Hello. Hola, Rafael, ¿me escucha? Hello, Rafa. 